York, hun. Okay, so now we get into pour your heart out. Make sure if you want your question answered on the show, you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. And make sure you keep it short and cute and sweet, okay? You want to read the first one? Sure. Okay. I have this family member that I was slash am close with. Every time I'm interested in a guy, she tries to find out who they are and then starts talking to them. There's a co-worker that I'm really interested in, and we've been talking since I started working there, but I've been nervous to take it a little bit further since I got out of a toxic relationship not too long ago. My family member, who is supposed to be my sister, calls and tells me that she has found him on social media and proceeds to add him. Then tells me, you're too nervous to take it to the next level, but I will. What? Now I'm a no, no, I'm not a confrontational person because I know my anger. But my mom said I should tell her about herself because she's trifling. I feel like she's a grown ass adult, 30 by the way, and she knows what she's doing and I shouldn't have to tell her what she's doing is wrong. What do you guys think I should do? It ain't nothing to cut that, that bitch, bitch off. Ass. I just said cut her off. You want her to fight her? Square up, ho. Well, I wouldn't fight her because it's family and obviously y'all have, but I would definitely cut her off because you know what this sounds like? It sounds like she has no self-confidence, but she gets her confidence out of fucking with niggas behind your back and like trying to make them talk about you or something like, oh, I'd rather fuck with you than fuck with your old cousin or your sister <clears throat> or whoever she is to you. So this girl has self-esteem issues, obviously, because let me tell you something. Once Drea put her pussy lips on a nigga face, you bro, like... You not in even in the I want to fuck you category. And that's on period, for real. Like, so I feel like her doing that, it shows a lot about her confidence. And she has something going on within her. So I think you definitely need to just cut that off. Yeah, and fuck the fact that she your cousin, girl. That don't mean she... I done cut a few cousins off in my day. I done cut a lot of people off. Cousins, friends, whoever. It don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Because people be trash-ass people. So. Yes, amen. All right, question number two. Hey, ladies, I've been fucking this man for over four years, and it's strictly sex. We don't have feelings for each other, just a sexual attraction. Here's the thing. This man is having a baby now. Niggas ain't shit. I'm not upset, but what's got me feeling some type of way is the way he hasn't brought it up to me. Part of me thinks it's none of my business, but the other part of me is saying out of respect, he should tell me. I thought about confronting him on some so you wasn't going to tell me you were having a baby type shit. But then if I do that, I'm going to have to stop fucking him and he has the best dick I've ever received. How would you handle this situation? Would you not bring it up and act like you don't know or confront him? P.S. North Carolina don't have a lot of good dick niggas. First of all, I'm, uh, human niggas don't have a lot of good dick niggas. It's not just... Not a, human <laughs> niggas. I'm just saying, it's not like only niggas in North Carolina don't have good dick. Niggas don't have good dick everywhere. Period. So, um, but you said it's just strictly sex. Baby, that's none of your business. You decided to get involved with a man and make it sex only. I, when I say sex only, I don't care about if your grandma died... If yo get girlfriend doing this, do I don't care about none of that. Just drop off the dick. So if this is just dick, his, him having a baby is none of your business. I agree. Cause he gonna be looking at you like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, what they gotta do with you? Like, they don't have shit to do with you. It's like, I could see if you said it was like an emotional connection. Are y'all really just fucked with each other? Are y'all used to be in a relationship and then y'all broke mm -hmm. up and now y'all just fucking? But it's like, if this is a nigga who you literally are just fucking, why do you feel like you're entitled to know what he has going on in his personal life? Right. I don't understand it. Yeah. And I feel like if I was a man, I would look at you like, bitch, get the fuck up out my face. Get out, and get out your feelings. And get out your feelings like and that's fine because bitch we ain't gotta fuck no more because i can go clearly fuck my baby fuck. mama because mm -hmm. clearly he fucking somebody else mm -hmm. so, yeah so don't ask him keep, get, keep getting your dick and i think i'm better let it go let it go it's looking like another little TKO. <laughs> okay. All right. My boyfriend and I have been together for six years. I'm 28 and he's 30. Our sex life is not the greatest. In the beginning, he was so nasty and always wanted sex. Now I'll be lucky if we have sex once a month. He's very conservative and vanilla to the point where he doesn't even want me to have our to have toys or to use them while we are intimate. I've also tried telling him to use them on me because I come from clitoral stimulation. Which for the last... For the last year, I've been cheating on him with one of my male friends. This is the first time I ever cheated on anybody. When I tell you he does everything, child. He eats ass, sucks toes, uses the magic wand on me, everything. He's a Scorpio. 
I'm getting to the point where I don't know if I even want to continue the relationship with my boyfriend. Am I wrong for wanting to end the relationship because the sex isn't up to my expectations? Sis, you're turn you're you're getting to that 30 point, and I'm gonna tell you, my sex drive went crazy when I turned 30. It definitely did. Y'all know sex it's around the corner for me. Sex is very important to me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like once I cheat on you and that intimacy is gone, I start questioning a lot of other things in our relationship. Like, can you really be in a happy relationship without good sex? No. No, you can't. I think people be like, oh, sex isn't everything. It's not everything, but it's a lot and it's okay. There's only like two species in the whole entire world that have sex for enjoyment and not reproduction. Like, and it, humans are one of them. We have sex because we enjoy it. Mm-hmm. We're not having sex to have kids. So at the end of the day, if I'm not having fun in this relationship, sex included, I'm gone. And you can't put time on a relationship. Right. You 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 added in the question that y'all were together for six years. Obviously, that six years means something to you. But that shit don't matter. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you right now. That shit don't matter. I done seen people be together for way too long that they were supposed to be together. Like, sometimes you just got to let shit go. And for you to be with the same man, so you met him when you was 22, you're not into the same things that you were as a 22-year-old. You're 28 now. You're about to be 30. You're not that 22-year-old girl anymore. So I think you just need to reevaluate your relationship. And Because once you start cheating, baby. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. I mean, I just feel like... If you're not happy, you need to leave the situation. I am at a point in life where I just feel like if something no longer serves me, I just need to leave it alone. I think sometimes people don't want to leave situations or don't want to not fuck with people no more because they also be concerned about that person's feelings. Mm -hmm. And it's going to sound really fucked up, but fuck that person's feelings. It's about how you feel. And not only that, I think a lot of people need to realize, like, monogamy is really tying you motherfuckers down. Like, if you're married, that's different. But y'all be dating and in relationships and be all for monogamy. It's like, are you crazy? I agree with that as well. But, but, but we, not, but we, we also going. know that everybody doesn't Ooh. think like us when it comes to that. So, I mean, that's fine. But I, like I said, I think sometimes women do themselves a disservice. Men, too. We're not going to just act like it's only women. Men and women do th- themselves a disservice by dating people and staying with them just because Men they, don't do themselves a disservice. Men, men be out here. Men do be... <laughs> yeah, but you do have, like, a good handful of men who do be just staying with women because they don't want to hurt their feelings. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, but they still be That's doing That's what I was thing. saying. Yeah, they probably still be doing their thing, but they also just... They're not 100% happy because, they, yeah, they doing their thing on this side, but they still with you, and they really don't want to be with you. Right, They right. just staying with you because they don't really want to hurt your feelings for whatever mm-hmm. reason. Maybe it's that y'all have a child together, you know, whatever. Who mm-hmm. knows? But, anyways, back to what I was saying... Leave that nigga if you're not happy. Don't Let just that nigga go. At the end of the day, the only hap- the only person feelings that truly really matter it's is yours. your own. You know I what I mean? Shit drain a cold with three. Yeah, and sometimes you gotta do shit and it might hurt another person. But as long as you're not being intentionally hurtful, right? Then I like one thing about me, I can live with that. As long as I know I'm not intentionally hurting somebody, mm-hmm. I can really live with knowing that I I probably hurt your feelings by stop fucking with you. But I had to do it for me. Cause you so, gotta, yeah, you gotta put your yourself. Gotta put first. your foot down, mm-hmm. foot on next bitch. Period. Oh, so violent. Period. Why are you? Is it like a little person thing? Wait. Like the little people are so violent. I'm not violent. Mm. You push me out of your home. You put your hands on me. Why we gotta tell this story <laughs> every fucking day? I just had to make like, sure. Do I, so I make sure so that people that I get to tell my side of the story. No. We didn't say oh, that. Okay, then. Right. Just shake me. <laughs> <One of, laughs> question four. One of my closest friends never invites me on big girl trips. We've mm-hmm. been to... <laughs> I know what a big girl trip is. You know? When you take that bitch overseas. Oh, okay. I, I take you on big girl trips. We do. We do. <laughs> One of my closest friends never invites me on big girl trips. We've been to NOLA and ATL and have taken road trips, but she never invites me when it's a bigger trip. She's been back to her home country, Belize, and two other with two other girls and not me. We went to Arizona and asked me to come like two days before leaving. And now she's in Puerto Rico with three other girls. We are all from Florida, so it's not like these are gigantic trips. But I would still like to know why she never considers me as a travel buddy. Would you want to know why you were being left out by someone you consider a best friend? Yes. 
I know why. You probably not fun. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. It sounds like they going on some hoe trips and she inviting the bitches that's busting that pussy open and you not busting a pussy open. I'm being real. I'm telling you. I'm not I mean, going to get that no, goes no, no, back no. into what I just said. You not fun. No, I'm not that, but I'm a, I'm not going to get into details, but just like not we went, type of fun. When we went to Jamaica, we got invited to Jamaica by somebody else, but we didn't go because we wasn't busting it open. So we was like, we going to go to Jamaica with our friends and do yeah. our thing. Don't Cause invite me on it. Because I'm not going to lie. Don't invite me on no whole trip. Yeah. I'm not going to Dubai to bust it open for a nigga unless it's my nigga. Because bitch, I done went on trips and ain't had to fuck nothing. That's so what I'm saying. So why the fuck am I going to go on a trip and knowing that it, I'm obligated to fuck somebody? Girl. So and I, they probably ain't even getting money like that, sis. You ain't even... Now, how you know? <laughs> you in a business? Don't do that. <laughs> They probably ain't even getting money like that. So you ain't missing out on nothing, queen. Keep yourself respect yeah, I feel like and your dignity. That's the only reason that, like, if y'all are going on small trips out here and they ain't not inviting you to, the like, the big trips, because they, they fucking but sucking whole trips, shit. that's not, act like, whole trips don't happen domestically. I mean, they, uh, yeah, uh, when you're younger. Now, when I go on a whole trip, it's not technically a whole trip. I'm with my nigga that I've been fucking. What? What? Yeah, bitch, sip that tea. <laughs> well, anyways, but obviously they not inviting her because she, she not. <laughs> Why are you looking like this? Because I'm nervous. I'm like, who I fuck? Did I let fly bitch, me out I to Michigan? Kidding. Oh my God. Not what? to <laughs> Michigan. Me. <laughs> who, who, who flew you to Flint? Who flew me to Flint, Michigan? <laughs> let me bust that pussy open. I was trying to think. But nah, I, I do agree with Lex. I feel like it probably could possibly be some shit like that. But then also, too, it's also a possibility that she just not fun. It's certain people you just don't want to go on trips with. I'm not going to lie. But why invite her to New this Orleans year, all and of my, Atlanta? This year, all of my friends are turning 30, right? I've been turned 30, so not me. I mean, well, yeah, not you, but... I'm talking about my friends that I, you know, was in the same grade. We we all went to high school together and stuff. Everybody turning 30. It's certain trips I don't really care to partake in. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't think I'm going to have that much fun. Well, you know I'm coming. Well, she don't have to worry about that with Big well, Mama. Well, I mean, of course, bitch, you fun. But I feel like that's why we both get invited places all the time. Yeah. Because people know we're going to be the life of my the party. Lauren, we're going to have so much fun. She does not go on a trip without me. Yes. Like, no. My friend Jordan is like that, too. Jordan do not want to go on no trips without me. Because he know, like, I'm going to turn up. I'm going to have mm. fun. So I feel like... It's either the one of the two. Yeah, it's either one of the two. So it's yes, boring or... Make sure... Make some hoes. If y'all want your question answered on the show, you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. Thank y'all for everybody who bought up the merch. Get y'all merch.